Good morning, everybody. It's October 9th, and this is October Showdown 2017. Let's mount up. Well, it's Monday, so that means I got to spend the day working. Uh, I really wish I could get out there and just work on the jail all day because um, we were making such good progress, but got to pay the bills, right? Uh, but I'm hoping maybe I can take a lunch break today and get out there and work a little bit. Uh, or maybe we'll go to uh, Home Depot and get some of that paint that we need for those jail bars. So I'll check back with you soon, guys, and show you what we're up to. So I've been stressing uh, over getting the gun fixed. Um, so I decided to just go ahead and take care of that. Um, what I did is, this is the old broken switch that was in there. Um, and the switch actually stopped working totally. It smashed it. So what I decided to do is just wire that, make this so that I could um, replace it easily if I need to. The gun comes apart really easily. It has a screw here for the handle and then the other pieces just screw right on. So it's easy enough to get apart, uh, but it is kind of a pain in the butt to desolder things. So I just added this little connector piece here and then I added the switch in line with that. Um, so that way if I need to repair this in the future, uh, it'll be a, f a little bit easier to get that done. And then what I did is I got the uh, gun counter out and then that way um, I can test to make sure it's working and it is. Making the gun sound, count down the shots. So that's good. It's actually the first time I've tested this uh, since we used it two years ago. So uh, that's a good sign. Okay, now that I've got the wiring all fixed and the switch uh, fixed in there and now I need to I'll put that back in there and then fix the um, fix the little wire or the spring uh, so that the trigger uh, will work again. To do that I'm going to go ahead and use this uh, steel stick epoxy stuff. Uh, this is made by JB Weld and I actually used it um, right in here to glue this hammer down because when I originally got the gun you could actually fire it and everything. Well I didn't want this rotating the, the chamber or messing with the wires or anything like that so I actually use some of this in there so I'm planning to put a little bit of that in here for the switch and then make a little edge here to hold this um, spring. Alright so the gun uh, is all reassembled now. Um, trigger works so we'll see how it goes. Um, you know the only thing I couldn't really do much about is um, I'm just kinda limited on how this works when you press the trigger, it has a this it's the sol it's a solid piece, and it's just physically pressing down on the button. And I'm assuming that uh, last time, just from all the repeated pushing on it, and you know somebody must have been really strong. I don't know, uh, but they the button just totally gave out. So I don't really know what else to do um, with this one. Uh, if it continues to be a problem, I might uh, try to get a similar uh, rifle like I got uh, that we that we have for the other gun station. That one's a cap gun, a cap rifle, and uh, that has a different switch, so that one works well. So maybe maybe next year I'll uh, make one of those. So, But at least this one's good for now, and hopefully it'll hold out for, the, for Halloween. Alright guys, I'm done with work for the day, so I'm outside and I'm going to try to get this uh, top facade done, uh, get the rest of the trim on here and the siding, uh, and then we can start weathering it. All right, so I wanted to show you uh, what we got done today. Um, I went ahead and stood this thing up here. I clamped it up on the table uh, to make it a little bit easier to work on. Um, fortunately, it was slow going for me. Uh, I did get a little bit more of the um, siding on here, uh, but I ended up needing to add some backer blocks on the back here because um, I wasn't thinking about the fact that we're gonna have trim up here, uh, the trim, basically covers up this uh, piece of wood here. So I needed something to staple to, so I ended up having to add um, these blocks here. Um, and then I added these two in the middle, so that way I can, so if I space my planks out between these three, uh, that gives me enough uh, to staple to. So I got all that done, um, and that's looking good. Um, and also, uh, we decided to start uh, adding bolts um, to our flats to connect them. Uh, usually I just use some screws, like these guys, exterior screws. Um, but I think it'd be easier um, to go ahead and use bolts, easier and, and stronger, 
Uh, so I just have a bolt going through here. Uh, these are quarter inch bolts. Uh, and then I've got a, a washer and a wing nut on top. And then I put those there. And then I went ahead and drilled the holes uh, for this guy. All right, check out those uh, jail bars there. Lori got them all painted um, while I was working on that. I think they turned out really nice. Uh, I like the color and everything. She did uh, three different paints. Um, I think they look really, really good. Here's this one over here. Um, she was wondering if they seemed too shiny. Uh, to me, I think it looks pretty good. Um, I don't know, what do you guys think? They too shiny because if so we're thinking maybe we could add like a, a matte um, varnish or something like that on top to kind of dull them down a little bit uh, so if you guys have any thoughts on that go ahead and uh, comment on that um, and that's pretty much all that we got done on the actual jail facade that's uh, over there so unfortunately we are supposed to get thunderstorms tonight uh, even though there's not a cloud in the sky right now uh, there's a cold front coming through which is good because uh, I believe the high tomorrow is only be like 74. It was 90 something today, so that'll be nice. Uh, but we're gonna have storms tonight, so unfortunately I gotta get everything cleaned up, uh, put the sides on the tent, uh, cover the other flats. Uh, so that's gonna take a while. I'm gonna break down this uh, one that I set up behind me um, and get all this cleaned up. So I'm gonna get to that. Um, thanks everybody for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.